You're about to enter a world of mystery. Where everything and anything can be unexpected. You're watching The Unboxing Zone. I'm Mark Rodriguez here, and this is the May edition of the Marvel Collector Core Box. This time featuring Black Widow based on her upcoming movie. Now a lot of stuff happened between now and then, of course. The movie should have been playing in theaters as we speak. I believe it was supposed to be released sometime in April, so yeah, it would have been in theaters now. And I'm sure I would have seen it by now and reviewed it by now and stuff like that, but obviously it didn't happen. And despite them talking the possibility of maybe like moving the movie, uh, moving the movie, uh, straight to Disney Plus or something else, well I guess it would have been Disney Plus, um, they actually delayed it all the way to November. So of course by then, hope all this shit kind of clears out already, the current world situation, so you can watch it in theaters as originally intended because... At least for me, I love, like, the overall movie theater experience. I don't want, like, a Disney movie, especially the Black Widow with, you know, Scar Jo and all that. I don't want that to just be reduced to, like, you know, straight to, to streaming or whatever. I want the full movie theater experience, and I'm kind of glad you moved it to November. Let's hope that we can see it. That's going to be fucking awesome. Now, another thing about this is that this box comes out every two months. And I think it costs about $30 to $35 if you factor in the shipping and handling. It's through Amazon. You don't get billed until, like, the box actually ships. So you have plenty of time to check it out and see if you like, like, this month's theme or not or whatever. In case you want to skip a box or something like that. I'm still keeping it for a while because Black Widow and the next theme looks pretty cool, too. But, um, one thing that kind of hit me, like, as I started filming is that... Um, the last box, the last Marvel box, was filmed during the quarantine lockdown. Here we are, two months later. We're still kind of, sort of, under quarantine lockdown. Um, we're not as bad, though. A lot of places are kind of reopening. We're not 100% there yet. So let's hope that when we get the next box, things are back to normal. Not the new normal, just normal. So, um, one last thing. This box has a lot of random stuff in it. Um, the box has changed so much that the only thing I can actually guarantee is a Funko Pop. Either one or two Funko Pops, the rest is, I don't know, sometimes shirts, sometimes figures, sometimes buttons, we don't know. So, without uh, further ado, let's check it out and let's see what we get. And yes, the Funko Pop we get in this box is actually an exclusive. So, if you want whatever's in here, you're going to have to get this box. So... Check out the, okay, so you guys can check out real quick what's in here before I do. Does it look cool? I hope so. So let's check it out. So we got a bag thing here. It's like a shirt. That's pretty awesome. I'll check it out last. Uh, one thing I want to say is that they haven't been doing too many shirts, but now I noticed the last couple of boxes have been like a shirt every box. If they keep it up, it'll be almost like a done deal that every box is going to have a shirt. And that's fucking awesome because we love our shirts, guys. So, okay, here we got a button, no, pin. We got a pin based on the Taskmaster. The Taskmaster is going to be one of the, uh, it's going to be like the villain. I'm not sure about the main villain, or he might be like a higher thug or whatever, but he's one of the, the biggest obstacles for Black Widow in the movie. That's kind of cool. Then we got, oh, a sticker, uh, Red Guardian, which is one of the heroes that uh, Black Widow runs into and enlists on her side as they take down the bad guys. Um, whoever the bad guys are. I'm not really sure who the bad guys really are in this movie or whatever. That they're not like, you know, Hydra or something else. Uh, we got the spoiler card. Do that later. And we got two Funko Pops, which again are exclusive only for this box. I think that's it. So, the first one is Black Widow, of course. But she's kind of banged up a bit. She must have, I don't know, fallen off a cliff or something. And she's got a grappling hook. So that kind of makes her a little different there. And she has her black outfit and, of course, her hair styled, I, I assume, for that particular scene. So that's pretty cool. So she has a grappling hook. Like I said, uh, yeah, grappling hook thing. And she's looking kind of banged up. She's got a bit of, like, you know, like dirt and soot and stuff on her face. So that's kind of cool. There's a side view there. So the wall is going to get bigger. And uh, then we have Alexei. Oh, God. So it's Alexei, which I can kind of tell is the Red Guardian, you know, in his uh, regular self. And he's holding, it's kind of hard for you to see depending on the angle, but I can show it from this side too. He's holding an action figure of himself, of Red Guardian. Because Red Guardian, of course, 
uh, what I can tell was, you know, this bigger, younger, more built superhero, but now, you know, he's uh, older, kind of chubbier. There's a scene in the movie where he puts it on and, the, you know, the costume, and of course he looks a bit more uh, chunky in the costume. Like, you could tell it barely fits, and he's all like, yeah, still fits! And Scar Joe and them are kind of, you know, making faces and stuff like that. And, of course, this guy, I don't know, like, the name, like, the actor name or whatever, but he's played by Hopper from Stranger Things. So that's kind of cool to have him in the Marvel Universe, Marvel Cinematic Universe, but also because, you know, he's got a big fan base. and love how he acts in, um, in uh, Stranger Things. So it'll be kind of cool to see him, you know, help save the world alongside Scar Johansson and this second Black Widow that is, uh, yeah, I don't know what her name is. Uh, it's Yelena Belova, and I'm not sure, like, the actress who plays her. So, finally, the shirt. Now, I also ordered quite a bit of, uh, Black Widow shirts from Hot Topic. It should be coming in the mail any moment now, because sometimes, even on Sundays, you still get UPS stuff. So, we'll see. But I'm going to add this to my collection, which is awesome. Again, it's exclusive. You can only get these from the uh, uh, Marvel Collector Core box. Let's see what it is. There we go. Awesome. So it's Black Widow with her new outfit and like chains and things. And um, Yelena there and also Red Guardian behind her. So that's pretty cool. You get the cool team there. And that's fucking awesome. So yeah, you get a cool shirt. If you want to go by value, the cool shirt will mostly be, you know, 15 to 20 bucks in a store, 25 bucks sometimes, depending on what store you go to, to help that sells, you know, stuff based on licensed characters. The Funko Pops are about, you know, 12 to 15 bucks each, let's be honest, they're not that cheap, they're not like, you don't always get them for 10 bucks unless they're basic or unless they're old, you know, so they're about 15 or so. So this alone, this alone, like if I went to uh, Hot Topic or wherever and like put down an order for two Funko Pops, this would have been 30 bucks already, give or take, you know. Then you get the shirt, um, the pin, what can I say, you know, a couple of, like, a dollar or two. And a sticker's a sticker. I mean, you can get a sticker for free in the gumball machine or something. So, uh, let's see here. So, yeah, two Funko Pops, a shirt, the decal or sticker. Decal? Decal? Decal, I don't know. Um, the pin and all that cool stuff. And, um, the next theme is... X-Men for July, and from my understanding, I saw it in the uh, Amazon website, I believe it's like, uh, like the so-so year anniversary for X-Men, I'm not 100% sure if it's like the movies or not, because I mean, they ended already, or if it's just like the anniversary of how long the X-Men have been around, like since, you know, since forever, and everything, so it's kind of cool, uh, we'll find out, I guess, because to be honest, there aren't that many, like, Funko Pops based on the movies, at least the older ones, because Funko kind of started off you know, during, it started off after all those movies, you know, after the first couple of ones. I think there's Funko Pops, there's Funko Pops based on Logan, but now like the other stuff and everything. So anyways, guys, um, Ms. Mark Rodriguez here. This is the uh, Marvel Collector Core for the month of May based on Black Widow. It's something in November, she comes out like in theaters. That would be fucking awesome. And the next thing is going to be about X-Men. Not sure if it's like the comics or the movies or whatever, but that would be kind of awesome. I will be getting that box, so stay tuned. More Black Widow um, stuff coming from Hot Topics, so check out my big haul coming out later on today or tomorrow or whenever. And that's it, guys. See you next time. So who knows what random boxes we'll be getting next time. Catch you later.